Hello, everybody. Today, I am going to read one of the Facebook posts from Greek Audio Geek, and this guy is calling him an idiot. And I tell you, I will read it, and you will know why. And this post has inspired me to do the today's video. Okay, let me start reading. And first of all, I gotta take off my glasses. Okay, so it said, bear with me, this is social media writing. You became an idiot as soon as you said you don't care about measurements, comma, but you care about the sound, dot, 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 seven dot. Hate to be the one to tell you this, but sound is measurable always, else we can't perceive it as sound, period. No punctuation between that, so... Uh, it's kind of difficult to read. And then the last one, you are selling, come again, you are selling snake oil nonsense. Okay, um, everybody is entitled to their opinion. I, I just want to ask why, if somebody doesn't care about measurements, become an idiot? I know Greek Audio Geek is um, a reviewer on YouTube and on Facebook. He always emphasizes he doesn't care about measurement. From a reviewer point of view, my question is, why is measurement important? From a reviewer point of view, if somebody can logically tell me why, because he's, he's stating that he doesn't care about measurement, he only form his opinion, again, review is an opinion, not a fact, it's an opinion. He form his opinion by his own listening. He tells you how he listen. He actually show you his listening room. He tell you what room treatment he has, what equipment he use. Then from a reader, reader or viewer's point of view, he told you his condition of listening. He told you his condition of how he formed his opinion for that piece of audio equipment. And then he tells you he doesn't care about measurement. I still don't understand why measurement is important. Or does he need to care about measurement? He already told you how he formed his opinion. Now, if he say, if he say I, uh, I, I know this because this measure must be good and measure must be that, that's a, that's a problem. But no, he doesn't. He tells you how he listen, show you how he listen, show you how he, uh, how he formed his opinion. I think that's all is matter. But anyway. He all, this, this post also saying, um, sound is always measurable. Of course, yes, it's measurable. But do we know how to measure it? I have a preamp. I send it out to a magazine to review, and obviously I know he's gonna, they're going to do a, a full measurement. And then, by, by, the, by the way, full measurement nowadays for magazine point of view is total harmonic distortion, spectrum analyzer, showing you the different harmonics of the of the frequency odd harmonic even harmonic you know the little little bar that's at the big, big one in the middle and little little things on the, on the side um also frequency response what else do they show um total harmonic distortion intermodulation um intermodulation distortion spectrum anal analyzer that show you the harmonics how much harmonics on the in the middle uh, in the uh, fundamental frequency and upper and, and lower harmonic distortion and frequency response and what else I don't know what else but it's only a few things and there are a lot more measurement than you can measure but general public don't see it because it's difficult to understand capacitor charging rate charging rate I'm not I'm not saying like uh, it, it's not so much how fast is charged it's how fast the change of rate of a capacitor or any kind of component capacitor are more of a more concern of a charging rate the rate of charging is the rate of change when it charge it's not constant it's change so those are the things that I sometimes actually try to measure group delays is another one but you can't present it to the general public because I, as soon as it goes to the general public I, I probably already confusing you so if it's confusing you now, by now, turn it off, move on to the next video, because this is not for you. I'm trying to, I'm trying to present my point, my opinion is, 
measurement from a user consumer point of view is not important but from a designer manufacturer manufacturer point of view is important we need to understand the sound by trying to measure a lot of time from my point of view I design something I measure good enough 0.05 percent distortion or less is good enough I start to listen then I I know sometimes it actually have higher distortion but sound better then I go back and try to understand why there might be occasion that there is no way I can I can figure it out from today's measurement techniques there is no way you can figure it out I'm sure that's like 20 50 years from now people knows how to measure more people knows how to measure more related to the emotion of a human unless we don't well, un, un, unless we are not allowed to express our emotion anymore um, sooner or later we can we, we're not allowed anyway so measurement related to human emotion and when we listen to music we are we are expressing our emotion we are immersed in our own emotions measurement is a very rigid things or process it's it's there, there are studies that trying to relate measurement to human emotion of course yes they have mixed they, they make some sense but i don't think we are nowhere near at the point that we can actually just measure a few distortion and related to what we measure what we hear measurement is nowhere we can relate it to what we hear how we hear and the condition of the room yes yeah, yeah, yeah people are starting about room acoustic and room acoustic treatment treat it as good as possible dsp for room corrections all that stuff that's not what i'm talking about what i'm talking about is yes measurement is important but how does it affect your judgment of your equipment why is it important not just whether it is important or not but let me throw in another monkey wrench on the measurement THD total harmonic distortion yeah sure total harmonic distortion but there's a lot of time that's actually THD plus N N is the residual noise of the piece of audio equipment so you throw the piece of you throw the N in it so for for a 200 watt amps in the 8 ohms and 50 watt amps in the 8 ohm 200 watt amp is 40 volt into 8 ohm 50 watt is 20 volt into 8 ohms double the voltage four times the power so by double the, doubling the voltage compared to the noise figure noise is usually constant not power related not volume related so when you have a higher output amp from a noise point of view that distortion is always lower so when somebody brag about the higher power amp have lower distortion I just say okay yeah right sure I walk away there's no point for me to say anything at that point so but that's why that's one of the reasons why the higher power amp it has lower distortion there are many other factors noise is a gain bandwidth related to gain bandwidth of the amp the higher the voltage gain usually the higher the noise because the, you're amplifying the noise the noise from each component from the front end amplifying to the and, and, and output at the back end that's noise noise is mostly voltage noise not current noise unless you unless you get into the power amp output stage otherwise they're mostly voltage noise so that's a monkey wrench so let's not go there because it will get more confusing but but back that back to the measurement things it's like I just don't understand why anybody think is calling other people idiot when they say they don't care about measurement even as a reviewer point of view as long as they tell you how the condition of listening why is it idiot I don't know so people claim they're open-minded but a lot of people they just talk open-minded but then they're not it's like every single holds a pluck they're not open-minded so don't talk about whether you're open-minded just be be what you're supposed to be then let pe let other people judge you whether you're open-minded or not so back to the measurement things I have a preamp I sent out to a magazine sound stage and they measure it 
and that's adjustment adjustment knobs the preamps called c312 have a lot of adjustment knobs so the reviewer adjusted admittedly he can hear the difference but when it comes to measurement they can't measure any noticeable difference they measure the extreme to be fair they actually say that they cannot measure any difference but when I look at the graph to be fair to them they're actually able to measure slight different from the extreme frequency response that outside the 20 to 20 kilohertz so that slight difference so is a measurement important can they relate it that extreme and different related to what the reviewer here no if they have they haven't published it they haven't said anything about it they just say they they, they basically have the reviewer say that, ch that the review actors review actors said that the sound changed but the measurement independent measurement within the sound stage organization they couldn't measure anything except the extreme and slightly different outside the 20 to 20 kilohertz again so then are we supposed to be able to hear outside the 20 to 20 kilohertz no i don't think so but there might be some other measurement that can show you the difference of what the reviewer heard but they're not publishing it but beside those capacity charging rate there's also phase shift they haven't i don't think they they have published phase shift because as soon as you have more and more measurements you try to explain it to the general public and the general public admittedly everybody are smart on a few things um, not very knowledgeable on most other things so you're trying to, to, to have a specific information that you're trying to present to the general public and they don't have the background to understand what you're saying so again at this point I might confuse you already then move on don't 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 keep listening to me it's I, I will keep confusing you because the measurements are so complicated from a general public point of view it's not complicated to me but I spent many many years to understand it's not just understand how to measure it yes hook it up here and push a button there that's easy but how to interpret the measurement related to what you actually hear so that's the important part that's take times to understand and study and because you have to listen to what you listen and then try to measure the same thing you can't because you listen to a piece of music and then use a sine wave to measure so how are you going to relate a music from a sine wave I still don't quite 100% understand but if anybody say that measurement is important and you can relate it to that you go ahead I am not that smart so you go ahead you can you, you're welcome to explain it to me how did you relate a sine wave to a com complex music which consists of a lot of sine wave so again it just I just don't understand why there's a group of people calling the other group of people who doesn't care about measurement an idiot so you must be very smart then so you need to explain to me why measurement is so important it's like this is a 1985 Luxman, 1977 Sensory. They have about the same amount of distortion. Are they sound the same amount? And you know what? These things have tubes in there. Is the distortion caused by the tube or by the solid state? And by the tube, usually it's even, even harmonic distortion. Solid state is odd harmonic distortion. So when they distort, solid states are usually a lot more annoying than the tube distortion tube distortion can actually distort up to 10 percent you still sounds kind of sweet but distortion of solid state close to one percent it sounds like a really distorted guitar when it get crossed find 1.5 percent it's unlistenable it's like, <laughs> like that but tube 10 percent distortion you still sound thinking something like oh that's kind of sweet so when you have a hybrid amp you look at a distortion at the output what does it really mean no it doesn't mean anything just turn up the volume control and listen to it and see you like it or not so that, that, that that's 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 my point of this entire video my question is not about what whether measurement is important or not is how you're going to interpret measurement why measurement is important without calling other people the other groups are idiots or names can you understand why their point of view 
Meaning, if somebody, as much as a reviewer on the internet, saying he doesn't care about measurement, without saying he formed his opinion by listening, but he told you he doesn't care about measurement, and but he also tells you how he listened. Obviously, you can co you can conclude that that's how he formed his opinion. So if you don't like his opinion, find somebody else. Find somebody else that you you like his opinion. I already done a video about how I pick reviewers. Not you don't you don't necessarily like all the all the review because they're all opinions, just opinions. And even my opinion doesn't have to match your opinion. You can find you can disagree with me, but please disagree with me respectfully. Don't call names. Don't use name. I will be politely delete your comments if you start using calling names. Oh but if oh but if you actually call me idiot like that I will actually keep your comment and, and spread your uh, spread your post because it's funny really. Um, so I am going to put the link of a screenshot for that post and also Greek audio geek post on uh, Facebook either Facebook and or YouTube so you can actually see the actual screenshot I'll be kind enough to actually cross out the poster name so you don't know who it is. Um, Greek Audio Geek, of course, is there. I will cross out the username and also the profile picture so you don't know who posted, but you do know it's actually a post. So I'm going to end the video here. I'll let you think about why measurement is important to you. You might conclude that measurement is not important to you. And from a, from a consumer point of view, I think that's a, the that's a right attitude. A measurement is good enough is good enough as there is almost no gear that coming out from the market this day is doesn't have a good enough measurement slightly not as good as compared to other of course you can find different measurement but no gear that no equipment that out in the market today is I believe that is that have a bad measurement not good enough good enough is good enough you don't need to be super good Good enough is good enough, and then after that, you listen, you judge it by your hearing. That's no, it's not my advice. That's what I do. You take it, you you follow what you follow what I do or not. It's up to you. I don't advise people. I just tell you what I do. So, until next time, stay safe. I am coming to the camera and shut it off now. Bye.